they only had lemon. Said I wanted raspberry. Gotta get it right. Hey guys, welcome to this exciting visual effects tutorial where I will show you how to shoot day for night. When you want to film a scene that takes place at night, it is usually a bad idea to actually film it during the night, unless you have a whole lot of lights with you. Low light usually leads to grainy footage and it's really hard to get the focus right to begin with. Instead, you can film your footage during the day and then post-process it to make it look as if it was filmed at night. This is a pretty simple technique, but I will assume that you know at least the basics of applying color adjustment effects to your footage. I will use Adobe After Effects for this tutorial, but you can really achieve this effect in any other video editing software, as long as the software has the power to let you change the color of your footage. Before we get to post-processing, there are two important things to keep in mind when shooting day for night. One, try to shoot on a cloudy day where there are no harsh shadows. Harsh shadows are usually a dead giveaway of sunlight and the fact that the clip was filmed during the day. Now, if the sun is fairly weak, you can sometimes play it off as moonlight, but that may not always work convincingly. 2. Avoid showing the sky in your footage. Again, a bright sky will break the illusion that the clip was actually filmed at night. Now that you know how to film your footage, let me show you how to post-process it to make it look like it was actually filmed at night. Here's a shot from the intro skit to this tutorial. It's just a simple shot of me running through the forest. As you can see, this was shot on an overcast day, so there are no harsh shadows from the sun, and we angled the camera in a way so that the sky cannot be seen. This shot is perfect for converting it to look like it was filmed at night. And it is super easy. Firstly, due to the lack of light at night, you usually can't see very many colors, so the first thing we will do is desaturate our footage. For this, go over to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Hue Saturation effect. Apply this effect to your clip by dragging it onto the layer. Now decrease the master saturation by around 80% or so. You don't want to turn the video into black and white, but you want to zap most of the color out of it. This should do. Next, the shot is still way too bright to be filmed at night. There are a number of effects that you can use to darken the footage, but the one I'm going to use is my personal favorite, the Curves effect. Search for the Curves effect and apply it to the layer. Now go over to the Effects parameters. If you haven't used this effect before, the RGB curve we see here defines how the dark and the bright pixels of your footage will be displayed. The left side of the curve represents the blacks and the right side represents the whites in your shot. As you can see, the left side of the curve starts at zero, indicating that any black color in your shot will actually be displayed as black. The right side is at the maximum, indicating that any white will be displayed as white. Now let's start tweaking. Grab the top right corner of the curve, which represents the whites in our scene, and drag it downwards to around 25 or so percent. This will crush down the bright colors in your shot and output them at a much darker level. Next, create another point on the RGB curve just to the left and push it down to further reduce the bright areas in your clip, like my shirt. Then go over to the left side of the curve where the blacks sit and add another point. Bring this one up to slightly brighten the dark areas of your footage to even out the video. Let's have a quick look at what we have so far. I'd say that looks pretty cool, but it still doesn't look like a night shot and one of the things still missing is a bluish tint that we associate with video taken at night. Again, we can use the curves effect we already applied to the layer to add the blue tint. Go back to the curves effect and select the red channel. This curve works exactly like the RGB curve, but it only affects the red colors in your footage. Simply create a point in the middle of the curve and pull it downwards to drain some reds from the clip. This will cause the footage to receive a greenish tint. Then go over to the blue channel. Push this curve up a fair bit to give your footage a nice night blue tint. Feel free to tweak this to your liking until you are happy with your shot. And voila, the scene looks like it was filmed at night. It really is that simple. But wait, what if your shot accidentally did include the sky? Let me show you how you can deal with that scenario. I have another clip here from the intro, which I already converted into a night shot using the exact method I just described. This doesn't actually look bad, but you may have noticed that you can actually see the sky in this shot. 
Given it was an overcast day, this might not be a big deal to you as you could play it off as moonlight on clouds, but I will show you how you can get rid of it anyways. For this, duplicate your base footage. You can do this by selecting the layer and pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. I will call this new layer Sky. Delete all of the effects that are applied to the sky layer. Now, because my shirt and the sky are very similar in color, we can't simply use a color key. Instead, we need to first mask out the areas that contain the sky that we want to replace. So grab your pen tool and draw a mask around the areas of your footage that show the sky. Easy! You may however have noticed that the shot I have here is not a static shot. The camera moves and therefore so does the position of the sky. This means we have to animate the mask to follow the sky throughout the shot. For this, reveal the mask on the layer by pressing M on your keyboard and enable keyframes for the mask path property. Then go through your footage as required and animate the mask path to follow the areas of the sky. You don't have to be 100% precise, but just make sure that you don't accidentally include parts of your actors in the mask. There you go, I did a rough job, but you can see the mask follows the sky throughout the shot and avoids including my big head as it swings around. Give the mask a little bit of feathering so it sits a little bit more natural in the scene. This should do. Now it's cut out only the bright parts of the sky that we want to replace from this layer. For this, return to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the Extract effect. Apply the Extract effect to the sky layer. We only want to extract the bright parts of the sky layer as we only want to cover up the sky itself. We can do this by increasing the black point property on the extract effect, which will remove any darker elements from the layer. Of course, this will depend a lot on the footage you are working with. For this particular clip, a value of around 200 seems to work all right. As with the mask, increase the black softness so that the edges of the separated sky are softened a little bit to blend the sky a little bit more naturally into the scene. Now that we have the sky extracted from the footage, search for the curves effect and apply it to the sky layer. As before, crush down the whites even more than before and reduce the contrast a little bit by adding a few additional points to the curve. Next, you guessed it, repeat what we did before. Go over to the red channel and reduce it a fair bit. Then go over to the blue channel and bring it up to match the rest of your footage. This should do. Another thing you can do to further match the sky with your footage if you are having trouble using the curves effect is to use a hue and saturation effect. Apply a hue and saturation effect to the sky layer and go over to the effect parameters. If you enable the colorize option of the effect, you are basically applying a certain color across the layer. You can then tweak the colorize hue parameter to your liking to make sure the replaced sky matches into the rest of your footage. Let's keep it at this shade of blue. I think it matches pretty well. And there you have it. A scene that included the sky converted into a shot that looks like it was taken at night. Once you know the steps to follow, this is a really simple effect to create and you can and should have plenty of fun with it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, please leave any comments, questions or suggestions in the section below. Please subscribe, hit that like button, share the video around. It helps me a lot make more and better videos for all of you guys. And if you're hungry for more, you can also find it, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later.